Welcome to audio video system playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dolakya, is going to explain number of scanning lines in television. So, how many scanning, li scanning lines are required to display a video on television? So, that is what the case which we will be observing in this session. So, to understand this session, these are my session outlines. So, first, I'll explain basics of number of scanning lines in television. Then after, I'll explain how to calculate number of scanning lines in television. Then we will see television standards for number of lines in television. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of number of scanning lines in television. So most, most of the scenes have brightness gradation in vertical direction. So you'll be finding most of the scenes that is having brightness gradation which is happening in vertical direction and less brightness gradation that is happening in horizontal direction. So it is very obvious greater the number of lines in which we divide picture in vertical plane the better will be the resolution. So as you increase more number of lines you will be finding resolution will increase. So here our agenda is to understand how many lines are required to see picture with proper quality. So if you have larger number of lines then you will be finding resolution of video is good and as if you decrease number of lines horizontally you will be finding that resolution will get decrease. By alternate black and white lines it is possible to estimate number of lines in a vertical direction. So that experiment that we will do and based on that experiment we will calculate how many lines are so essential to estimate proper resolution of video. So here you can see alternate black and white lines are here and based on this alternate black and white lines we can be able to estimate what can be the max what can be the minimum number of lines which is required to have proper resolution of video. So for that here basically scanning will happen. So these lines will get scanned one by one. You can see beam that is moving like this horizontally and it will trace this entire video in sequence. So by horizontal scanning you will be finding this beam will move like this right and it will scan entire video. So here there will be black line as well as white line and that is how lines are there. So here how many lines are required so that our human eyes cannot separate these two lines. So that is what we are a little bit to calculate about. Now see the total number of lines that need to be employed is limited by the resolving capability of human eyes at minimum viewing distance. So we need to see that what is the resolving capability of human eye. Usually you will be finding resolving capability of human eye that is highest by one minute in terms of angle. So I'll explain you how to calculate that. So resolving capability of human eye that is uh, by one minute in terms of angle and that we are a little bit to use it to have a calculation of number of lines. So let us see how to calculate number of scanning lines. So here we have a screen over here and in this screen this is nth line and here there is n plus 1th line and over here our eyes is observing this video and where these two lines are there and these two lines are subtended by angle alpha over here. So these two lines are subtended by angle alpha over here. If I say height of the screen is h and distance between screen and i that is d in that case maximum alternate dark and white lines can be resolved by our eyes is given by nv is equals to 1 by alpha into rho where alpha that is angle subtended by i to separate two lines 
so that one can see this is alpha over here and as per resolving capability of eyes of human that angle can be one minute so this is very good resolving power of our eye by one minute so if alpha is one minute approximate resolution is one minute then this alpha that first we need to calculate in terms of radian so angle alpha one minute is equals to one by 1 by minute 1 by 60 that will make it to degree and into pi by 180 that will make it to radian. The reason is in this formula we need to place this angle in terms of radian. So 1 minute angle that is 1 by 60 in terms of degree into pi by 180 that will be radian. So that is alpha and rho that is distance to height ratio and 4 d by h that should be 4 for comfortable view it should be greater than this d by h that should be greater than 4 but at 4 we can have comfortable view of any video so it should be greater than 4 so if you place these values 1 minute that is 1 by 60 into pi by 180 and rho is equals to 4 in that case you will be finding this calculation of nv that will be approximately 860 lines so that will be almost approximately 860 lines now let us see some standards so it will be more clear how those standards are there so original french tv system that uses 819 lines and as per calculation we have seen 860 lines are required for proper resolving for proper standard video and for original French TV system it is about 819 lines but in the real practice video doesn't have alternate black and white lines see we have done calculation for black and white lines right in real practice you will be finding video doesn't have alternate black and white lines it is having a combination of random black white and gray pixels so there will be a random combination of black, white and gray pixels. It doesn't have only black and white lines. So because of random black, white and gray pixels, you don't need 860 lines. And effective lines that we can recalculate it by NR is equals to NV into K, where this K is resolving factor or one can say resolution factor and its value is about 0 0.65 to 0 0.7. And as per these values, you will be finding effective lines will vary from 560 to 640. So you don't need 860 lines but effective lines could be 560 to 640 as per we don't have videos which is only having black and white lines. It will be a combination of black, white and gray. So resolving factor that we need to apply to have recalculation of those lines effectively and that is about 6, 560 to 640. Even if you have greater lines, then even there will be no issue. It will be good. But when you increase number of lines, there will be larger bandwidth which is required to send video for that channel. So larger the number of lines, larger the bandwidth which is required for that channel. So there will be always comprise, compromise in between quality and cost. So you will be finding there will be always compromise in between quality and cost. So if you increase lines, it requires higher bandwidth. If you decrease line, then bandwidth requirement is low, but quality will get degraded. So in most of the monochrome TV, you will be finding that number of lines that will be 625 for a standard of 625B. In American system, those lines are 525 lines. So see, in French TV system, there are 819 lines are there. For normal television standards, 625 lines are there. And in American system, it is having 525 lines. So I think now you will be getting what are the reasons which is there for those number of lines, which is there with different TV systems. For French TV, it has 819 lines. 
the reason is they wanted to have proper resolution of video but as we know video is not getting separated by only black and white lines it is a combination of black white and gray so re resolution factor should get multiplied with with 860 and that will make that range from 560 to 640 so 625b that is even one standard which is there with television and that is most commonly used but in american standard you'll be finding 525 lines are there and that is to increase number of channel and to reduce bandwidth per channel so to reduce bandwidth per channel american system is having less number of lines 525 thank you thank so you so much for watching this video i would like to get your suggestions from your side the reason is i want all those topics that has to be covered on my channel so that students can easily learn everything which is required in the university courses and you can download all this material which i am teaching here from my application engineering funda so i am providing all those material free of cost you can download it it will be easier to you to learn all those topic which i am teaching here again thank you so much for watching this video and your suggestions are most welcome to me so please do give your valuable suggestions which is highly required here to optimize this.